structure. The coalition, on the other hand, is actually deliberately putting forward a structural deterioration. That is what is embedded in their company tax cut. The hit to the budget gets worse and worse year on year, whereas Labor, by putting forward the changes in particular to negative gearing and capital gains tax, has a structural improvement to the budget that the budget and the nation needs. Thank you. Uh, Dr Keating? Thank you very much. <clears throat> I think you mostly said what I needed to say, but I'll just repeat a couple of the most important points. First, <clears throat> the panel was there to verify the costings, not to endorse the policies. We didn't, uh, the second point is that costings of any policies inevitably involve a degree of uncertainty. Uh, we've satisfied ourselves, having gone through the independent costings of the Parliamentary Budget Office, that the uncertainty in the estimates which have been put before you are no different to the uncertainty in budget measures generally, mm. or budget documents generally. Thirdly, as was said, uh, the Parliamentary Budget Office is responsible for all the costings uh, which have a budget impact. In, but in the case of the National uh, NBN, uh, the budget impact is capped at the equity injection into the NBN. And uh, the Labor Party asked us to look at the business plan to check the credibility of that business plan. And uh, I can say that while I was a skeptic uh, before I read the plan, um, possibly like many other Australians, uh, been there, done that. I have now, having had the opportunity to read the plan, I'm no longer a sceptic. I think it's a high standard business plan. Thanks, Dr Keating. Uh, as I said, we might take questions to Tony and I, uh, and then if you've got questions to the panel, uh, happy to take those. Hey.